Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Right now, the question I'm answering is, what's in the box of this? The Herb Witches Expansion for Quacks in Quedlinburg. Quacks of Quedlinburg. I have never had a problem saying that before, but for some reason I failed today. So yes, the Herb Witches expansion for Quacks of Quedlinburg. I happen to have the North Star Games printing of this game. This is a gift I got for Christmas that I'm finally getting a chance to crack open. Because I had so much other stuff to play that I finally get to check it out. Now, Quacks of Quedlinburg is a fantastic push-your-luck game. And if you don't know anything about that game, go look it up, please, because it's really good. This adds a ability to play five players as well as new ingredients and other cool stuff. I have not played with this expansion yet. I haven't even seen exactly what's in here. So you're going to get to discover it at the same time I do. But first, for more information, let's check out the back of the box. So this is for ages 10 plus, 2 to 5 players, 45 minutes. That's the same as Quacks. This expansion to the Quacks of Quedlinburg allows you to play with a fifth player. But that's not all. Step right up, folks. This box contains things that will bewilder, amaze, and cure even the gloomiest people of Quedlinburg. Add loco weed and giant pumpkins to your cure all potions. Use new ingredient books and solicit help from three dubious herb witches. The herb witches expansions are countless more potion creating sessions for an up and coming quack doctor to enjoy. Note you do need to own Quacks of Quedlinburg to use this. All right, let's take a look at what's in the box. Here you have my copy of the Quacks and Quedlinburg. All I've done so far, sorry, the herb witches expansion is cut the shrink so we're gonna open this up take a look at what's inside the new player color appears to be black so you have the same baggie you get with the rest of the quacks you're gonna reach in and pull in out your things we've got a ton more rubies wow a, a lot more rubies so i don't know if there's a lot more rubies used or earned in this uh, these do match the components from the original game, so I don't think I have to show these off really, but you have these, you know, your typical aquarium style pieces of plastic, jagged plastic. You have the discs for the fifth player with your rat, your liquid thickness, and your other two tokens. We have, this is it, this is the instructions. Okay, not a lot of new information here. So we are looking at a big four pages. That's it for instructions. Nice. So, okay, already happy. So we have local weed, which this is brand new. So we have local weed, but what I am seeing here is we now have six different versions of all the base ingredients. So that is really cool. So we are looking at a new ingredient as well as two-sided books for each existing ingredient. That is a ridiculous amount of new replayability. It uh, looks like we have more cherry bombs, as they call them in the um, English version. Oh, we have we have two. Okay, stuff's like falling out here. So this, I don't know. It looks like something new that's going to attach to your board. So that's cool. We have we have some interesting thing. We have coins. It looks like we're going to have some gold coins. We have increased. Oh, sorry, two sided. We also have the new pot for black. So here's the new pot for black and increased numbers of some of the base colors, which is interesting to see as well. Then we have the new witches that look like they affect various phases of the game. And we have a lot more ones of the original tokens, which makes sense because you have a fifth player, so you don't want them to run out. And we have more witches on here. The witches are not two-sided, so there's the tents on this side. They do look like they have coin costs. So the witches, yeah, they have coins on the side. So you might have to pay off the witches. And then a whole bunch more ingredients. Again, when you're adding a new player, you don't want to run out. So we've got coins now. We've got new ingredients. We've got a fifth player. And most impressive to me is two new versions of every single ingredient. That's huge. That alone, to me, makes this worth it. Two new versions of every ingredient in the original game. I don't even want to do the math on that. How many possible combinations we now have. Oh, including a new pumpkin. Because the pumpkin was one of the ones that didn't have variations before. So that's cool. 
There's even new pumpkins. Oh, it's the same on both sides. So, okay, you don't have six for every ingredient, but there is a new pumpkin. There's a six pumpkin now that jumps you ahead six. Wow. Looks awesome. That's about it. Pretty much what I expected. It'll be interesting to see if this fits in the core box, but I'm not going to try that right now because that would require me to punch it. Class Quedlinburg, the Herb Witches. There you have what you get in the box with the Herb Witches expansion for the Quacks of Quedlinburg, the fantastic potion brewing party game, almost in a way, push your luck, push your luck based board game that is a ton of fun. You are like, I don't even know, quadrupling, quintupling, multiplying by a power of six, the amount of options in the game by adding this. You are getting new versions of every base ingredient, some of them two new versions, giving you six possible combinations for each ingredient. And then there's a new ingredient called loco weed. And then you've got the whole witches thing going on as well. Lots of new content in here to keep you busy playing Quacks of Quendlenburg forever. You don't need any other board games. You just get Quacks in this, you're done. Although there's another expansion for this coming out. So we'll check that out when it happens. So that's it. That's what you get in the box for the Herb Witches expansion, Quacks of Quendlenburg. Personally hoping to play this game tonight myself. When I do that, though, I'll be sure to share on social media at least some pictures of us playing and my thoughts as I learn about the game. And you can follow me pretty much everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can also check out our website, tabletopbellhop.com, watch our videos on YouTube, slash Tabletop Bellhop, and join us on Twitch. We record Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash Tabletop Bellhop, where we record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can also find on your podcatcher of choice. Also watch on YouTube. Sundays, we like to have brunch where we hang out and chat about all things geek and gaming. That's about it for tonight. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. Have a good day and game on.